Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're talking about how to make a Discord uh, music bot version and Discord JS version 12. So let's get started. You'll need Visual Studio Code. You'll need Node.js, at least version 12, I believe. So first, let's start by making our new project. So hit open folder, and this should make a thing called uh, v 12 music. I can't type music bot. Alright, select the folder. Alright, new file. Let's make this index.js terminal, new terminal, npm init. So now here, let's name this uh, music bot. Uh, you can hit enter for the rest. And next up, we need to install discord.js. npm install discord.js. We will also need um, ytdl uh, you will you will also also need um, ffmpeg static node opus and uh, yeah and then dash dash save now you will need uh, ffmpeg installed on a computer so ff so you can head over to ffmpeg.org and download this and install it you can google how to install ffmpeg now, while this installs, let's start coding. So, const discord equals acquire discord.js, the simple import. Const client equals new discord.client. Then you need to uh, client dot on ready. console dot log ready next up let's import ffmpeg so const or no let's import um a ytdl which is the youtube downloader which can make a, a stream with a link so const ytdl equals require ytdl dash core Alright, next client that on message we need to do async message. Alright, next up we need to parse the message. So first let's make sure that it has a prefix in it. We need to make a config for that. New file config.json. Here you need token. And we'll get that token in a second. And we also need prefix. I'll use, an, I'll use a question, exclamation point. Then we can import that. Const prefix token equals require dot slash config.json. Then we need to do um, if message dot author dot bot return if author or if message dot content dot index of prefix does not equal zero return const args equal message dot content dot slice uh, prefix dot length dot trim dot split set, uh, slash plus slash g and then pause command equals logs that shift to lowercase if command let's make a simple command uh, we need to make the um, the play command it's gonna be the main command where we actually play everything um, another thing we'll need is we need a uh, we need a map that's gonna hold all the uh, server queues so let's do const or uh, no, sorry. Var q equals new map. So then, next what we need to do is we need to um, parse the actual uh, play command. So if uh, args zero, so if they didn't spec, if they didn't specify a link, return. If or if exclamation point. Sorry. Um, 
We also need to make sure that it's a valid YouTube link. So we need to make a quick regex check. We get the URL, so let URL equals arg slash join. All right, now, if exclamation point URL dot match. The thing I'm gonna type in here is quite complicated, so I'm just gonna quickly do a copy and paste. You, 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 can, you can find this in the comments section. Or I mean, sorry, in the uh, description. All right, uh, editor Derek here. I got it wrong in the video. Uh, there's a different regex that I have in the description. You wanna use that instead of the one that I show on the video. There you go. Return message dot channel dot send. You, uh, please provide a valid you YouTube link. Next up, we need to get the current server's queue. So let server queue equals a queue dot get message. Oops. Message dot guild dot id. Now that we have the server queue, let's actually queue the next song. So we need to make sure that they're in a voice channel. So let. So now we need to make sure that they're in a voice channel. So let vc equal. Um, message dot member dot voice. So there we go. Now you're the voice channel. So if vc turn message dot channel dot send, you are not in a voice channel. Next, if we need, we need to make sure that your permission. So we need to do if I if a permission point um, vc dot per dot channel dot permissions permissions for uh, so we need to do client dot user uh, dot has connect if it does not have connect or if it does not have speak then return message that channel that send I do not have permission all right now we need to actually get the um, song info so let song equal await let's do song info equals await ytdl dot get info on our side on URL, we need a variable for that. And then let song equal title is going to be song info dot title. URL is song info dot video URL. If server queue. Let q const equal text channel is gonna be message dot channel voice channel is gonna be voice dot or vc dot channel connection right now it's gonna be no since we don't have one songs is going to be a brand new array since we don't since this is with when they don't have a queue already volume put that at five for now and playing equals true since we're about to start playing and then when you do q.set message.guild.id const const dot songs dot push so you gotta push into the array our current song that we have and let's try do a try catch here 
we do var con or let connection equal await voice vc dot channel dot join and then q const dot connection equals connection and then place and we're gonna make a function later on right here that plays a song. So let's do to do play song. So let's put that as a placeholder for now and then console.log error if there's an error. And q.delete message.field.id. So this can actually um, attempt to play the song if there's an error and return message.channel.send there was an error playing the song error and then plus error there now what if they already have a a queue so let's do an else here then we do let So then we just do the uh, server queue dot songs dot push song and then just return message dot channel dot send song dot title has been added to the queue. All right. So now we need to make the play song function. So function, let's make this in the sync function, play song, then guild song. All right, so let's make this easier on ourselves. Let's uh, do, some, uh, do some basic things here. So guild is gonna be discord.guild, and song is just a array. Oh no, it's a, um, object so first we need to get the queue again so let's server queue equals queue dot get guild dot id if there if there is no if there is no song then server queue dot voice channel dot leave queue dot delete guild ID and return. Now, if there's an X song, you do a const dispatcher equals server q dot connection dot play stream ytdl song dot url dot on end. Whenever the song ends, then server queue dot songs dot shift, and then we call this function again. Guild server queue dot songs zero dot on error. So when there's an error playing it, we just do a console dot log. Error. I also want to make sure, set the volume to the server queue volume. So dispatcher dot set volume logarithmic server queue dot volume divided by five since it goes from a scale of zero to one. And then up here, we should do play song function. Play song message dot guild, and then q const dot songs zero. So there's your basic uh, bot. Let's test this out. Note dot. 
I never declined that login. Client dot login token, which also reminds me that we need to get our token. So let's go over to discord.com slash developers. Now you want to hit new application. Uh, name this whatever you want. Name it whatever you want. Once you hit create, it should bring you to a page kind of like this. Uh, you can say the, 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 the thingy, the, 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 the profile picture, and the name. Head over to the side bot. Click on co copy your token. And paste it into your config. And then once you've done that, you can head over to OAuth2. Click on bot, administrator, or, or whatever perms you want to give it. Copy that paste into a new tab and bam you can invite it into whatever server you want now that we have all that done I will now show you the actual bot so now if I did um, this is now back to testing so if I did the play command it joins Alright, it seems like I accidentally did something that's for V11, so this is why you read the docs. So we have a So we gotta quickly debug this, so server queue connection is So you join okay, so voice channel. So it's a constructor, we can go over here, we ran the um the join function returns a voice connection. A voice connection. You can use the play to play that. Okay, so it's it's just play. So now, if you run this again, and we were to run the to play this link. You guys enjoyed this video see you guys in the next episode make sure to like and subscribe see you later